Hi guys. Have you heard of the latest channel where you can watch Nollywood movies? CPL Nollywood TV is a channel to watch interesting and trending Nollywood movies. Subscribe to ZPL Nolly TV on YouTube. Ega like ya. Oh, Sorry, I forgot. I Emmanuel called and I have to be out of town for a business meeting. Maybe you always go on a business meeting every weekend. Come on, babe. These high profile billionaires, how do you think I'm going to meet them and have them entrust their properties to me? The only way is to meet up with them, right? I don't know about you, but I want to retire before 50. And if you allow me, I would love to get your house help to help you with all this. I don't need a house help. I can take care of my home comfortably. That's what you would say. But every day you keep spending your time writing a book that ceases to finish every single time. Why don't you take some time off from this, from your books, and go out, give yourself a treat. Maybe go to the spa or something. It's Sunday, you know? That'd be nice, right? I'll see you later. All right? All right. Love you. something for you. Alright, what is it? have to attribute when I give you a gift to good sex? Well, if we weren't having sex, would you have got this for me? For what? Why? You're not my wife. I'm not obliged to get you anything fancy for that matter. You're not my wife. I'd rather do anything and yet you still cheat. So unromantic of you. Well, if you care about my wife so much, why don't we just call this off? Who does that? <laughs> well, you are still going to flurry with other women, so I'd rather stay and enjoy myself. <laughs> you see, women, they're all the same. You just want to have a good time. You. Don't you want to have a good time? Admit it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, yes, um, and you? 
Check into a hotel. Are you spending the night? Okay. Um, it's fine. It's okay. What about Emmanuel? Yeah, yes, I do. It's okay. Um, take care of yourself. I love you. Couples will be sleeping at this time. Babe. Babe, hey, come on. Babe. I mean, I had a long day at work. Okay? What is going on with you? Is it that you don't find me attractive anymore? Babe, how could you say a thing like that? Because it's one excuse to the other with you. If you're not tired, the, 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 the dog cuts your pennies. It's always one story to the other. <laughs> Baby, it's not funny. It's not funny. We're drifting apart. Babe, we're not drifting apart, okay? Okay, this is what's going to happen. How about I plan a weekend getaway for two? Hmm? Just you and I. And we can do all the things that you like to do. Go on long walks, take a stroll by the beach, read your favorite magazine, and even argue over art. Anything you want. Babe, I'm not asking for too much. I just want you to be present. I I want you to see me. Babe, but I see you. Okay? And I see how understanding you are. And how amazing you are. And how tolerating you are. Babe, why do you think I'm working so hard so that I can buy that vacation house in the Bahamas for us? So you can have all the time to write your novels and create some very, very good work of art. Hmm? It's okay, babe. I'll let you sleep tonight, but tomorrow is my day. Every day is your day, baby. And that's why I love you forever. <laughs> Do something for fun. Let's go out, have some drinks, go to the club, party, something fun. Babe, but you don't know how to drink. I could just sit and watch you drink. Let's go to the club. <sighs> on a Sunday. Babe, people party on Sundays. Let's do something for fun. Let's have fun. Something different. Look, babe, I wanted us to have fun indoors, you know? I wanted to spend my day with you, away from the world, because you are my world. 
Maybe it's, let's just do something different. You and I uh, have babe. fun. Come on, maybe some other time. I'm tired. Please. I'm gonna see who's at the door. Okay? Hi, Janet. You look lovely this morning, as Thank always. You. Thank you. Of course, she has to look lovely all the time. I mean, that's my best thing right there. And I know they don't play the time at all. Yeah. I assume you'll be joining us for breakfast. seen them in five years. So their feelings should come before mine? I never said that. Why do you always put your friends first before me? Why do you always do that? But baby, I don't put anyone first before you. you show me, show me. I quit my job because of you so I could stay close to you. I can see that trick is not working. What exactly do you want, Munachi? I don't want anything. Baby, you are perfect for me. Then why do you always put your friends first before me? Look. I will never put my friends before you. Okay, this is what is going to happen. Let me go out with them, okay? Come back on time so you can get dressed and I'll take you to a very fancy restaurant. How about that? While I wallow in my solitude? Oh, babe, I never knew you to be nagging this much. Come on. Okay, fine. It's, it's okay. I'll let you go have fun with your friends and I'll just go work on my weekly column for the magazine, it's, it's okay. Baby, come on, look, you even have work to do, okay? It's okay, fine. so why don't you finish your work on time, so when I come back, you can wear something nice and I can take you out to a fancy restaurant. Huh? It's fine, babe. At least you'll have breakfast before you leave, okay? Um, I'm gonna have an intercontinental dish there, but my wife's meal is the best tasting meal in the world. I should always mix them with love. So you should have allowed the phone to ring a bit before picking up. So why are you sounding like I hardly call? Okay, there's no hell today. It's all heaven over here. He's out with friends. How do you know I'm home? No, that's not true. I socialize sometimes. But you know, it comes to a point in a woman's life where all she thinks about and care about is just family. Yeah, that's true. Can we not just talk about that right now? Because it's my birthday. You're not the only one that forgot. Mona forgot too. Huh? 
can we not go into that right now, please? I don't want to spoil my mood. I want to be happy. Who's counting? I'm the boss. It's host. Nice. I'm glad you had fun. 
know I like drunk like that. I mean, those guys wanted to kill me with alcohol. But it was my birthday yesterday. <laughs> supposed to put each other first we are married you're correct I put you first in everything I do I wake up every morning I'm excited to tend to your needs I quit my job for you I try to make this marriage exciting I try to make you happy what do you do for me where do I belong in your life I need to know because I'm worried Muna please I, I... I put you up here, above everything, I promise. It's just that I've been carried away. I have been the one losing my mind. You've been like this for a while now. I just did not want to say anything because I don't want to aggravate things, but I can't, I, I can't take it anymore. I can't, what is going on with you? Okay. What is happening to you? Look, you're right. I'm sorry. You've been very understanding. Jenna, I'm really sorry. Okay? I thought, I thought marriage was supposed to be forgiving. Hmm? Okay, look. This weekend, I promise, anywhere you go, anything you want to do, Wherever you want, anything, I'm down. Okay?
You know, I'm gonna go to the bar and get something decent to drink and not not this. I think we agree that this event is going to be about about us connecting my own way. Yes, I understand, but sitting here and watching the waves and listening to the sea breeze, it's boring. When I go to the club with you, it's not fun for me, but I go there just to make you happy. I listen to the loud music. It's not fun, but I'm there just to make you happy. Why can't you do this for me? Why can't you do this with me? You promised that this was going to be about me, having fun, spending time together, on my own level, my own way. I think I understand what the problem is. Because you've been watching too many movies and writing all these your romantic stories, you don't see that this is such a waste of time. Muna, you're being very selfish. You're being selfish.
You don't have to pay for it. What is this? A pencil sketch of a beautiful woman by the beach. Blame the lights, I wasn't seeing clearly. So you're saying you would have done a better sketch if it was day? Absolutely. <laughs> Frankly, there is a better chance for a pigeon to give birth to a horse than for you being an artist. Hmm. Frankly speaking, I don't give a damn. Where have I heard that? Red Butler, Gone with the Wind. Hmm. 1939 history, historic romantic classic by Victor Fleming. Impressive. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have seen that. I've seen that a couple of times. It's a very, very good movie. Um, you see, no one would punish her if she failed. Right. Except there is no great punishment than the one our mind inflicts on us. Miss Bennett's desperation was a result as a result of her desire. I mean, everyone wants a good life, right? Yeah, right. So it's not hundred percent correct to say that her character was bad. I mean, we all are driven. Some of us may be a little bit reckless. That's what right there. Reckless. <laughs> I feel like she was reckless with her ambition. Oh. Smart, manipulative, reckless. But she was she was she was the woman. She was the mother. Yeah. And there was Darcy's and Elizabeth's relationship. Elizabeth saw pride in every turn, while Darcy was prejudiced by Elizabeth's moral upbringing and social class. What seems to be so may indeed not be so. The brilliant mind, Jane Austen. <laughs> Brilliancy, intelligence, qualities you dare not have if you're a woman. Mm -mm. I beg to differ. History has been made by a lot of women who we are not afraid to shine their light. Shine, but don't shine so bright. Fly, but not above the skies. Dream, but don't lose touch of reality. It's a man's world, please. Because the women gave them the power. Wait, wait, are you saying that you are okay with a woman that's passed to be more than you are? Um, actually, I... I'd want to be with a woman that aspires to be more than I am. Really? Yeah. You know, there are conversations that stimulate the mind, arouses us. These conversations, you you go deeper, and the more deeper you go, you keep wanting to go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper to you all. So we are lost within it. Hmm. And that's what true love is you have it, well, somehow, somehow, you still want to have it more and more and more and more and more. <laughs> Do you believe in soulmates? <clears throat> you mean sitting around and waiting for that one person that has the perfect connection with you? You know, when, when two souls belong to each other, they don't necessarily need to look for each other. They always have a way to find a way to each other, no matter what.
I just do? Don't touch me! Listen, if, if it's any consolation, I don't usually do this. I don't usually do this with a stranger. Oh but I feel God. there's a connection and I know you do too. What did I do? What did I do? Oh! Oh. Oh my God. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I... I have no oh idea. Oh my God, what did I do? Don't, don't, don't touch me and don't come close to me. Keep go off me. God, what did I do? Hey, um, get out, get lost. Hey, sweetie. You're still in bed? We're not gonna have breakfast today. Honey, are you okay? Did, did I do something wrong? If I did, I'm sorry, okay? I know that you forgive me. You always do. Anyway, I'm off to work, okay? Alright, sweetie. I have to go to work, okay? See you later. Love is not enough. You can give it all you got, but it wouldn't be enough. You took my efforts for granted, and everything that you worth, you threw it all away. It wasn't good enough. Hey, honey. How are you? I got you flowers. You did? Yes, I did. Thank you. And something nice for Lita. So would you like to go out to get something to eat? Or you want me to make you my favorite jello fries? Yeah, I know it's been long since I treated you to something nice. So, why don't you sit down and let me go inside and make you something special, okay? Okay, nice you, babe. <laughs> I'll be right back. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay. Okay, I'm asked to deliver this to you. And also this.
How long? To me. Don't you dare lie to me! It was a mistake! So, he mistakenly put his pennies inside your private parts. Is that the story you are telling me? When? Last weekend, we... trip that I paid for with my hard-earned money and yet you were sleeping with a stranger You did! You did! And you slept with a stranger while I was here! not to come here because I don't want to see your filth anywhere close to me or this bedroom I don't want to have to wake up at night and strangle you and end up going to jail because of a harlot yeah. you're calling me a harlot because of just one mistake I do not want to see you anywhere near this room Again, do us both the favor.
I've heard they say a woman should be patient and be kind. Try to understand him, give him time, and everything will work out. I did it all that way, but they don't understand it. He doesn't understand it. Everything I did, I did it all for you. But it wasn't good enough for you. It wasn't good enough for you. Pick up, pick up, don't leave me hanging. I'm only human too. You about to love me too. So tell me why. It takes two to tango, they say. Now I understand why they say love is not enough. You can give it all you got, but it wouldn't be enough. You took my efforts for granted, and everything that you worked for, you threw it all away. It wasn't good enough for me. Tell me. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <clears throat> Mrs. Stranger. Hello. <clears throat> Mrs. Stranger. The one in Stranger came by mistake like this. Inside your private parts. <laughs> I hope it was fine first class, if not to be a shame. Look, I never want to see you sleeping on my couch again. But there are other rooms in this house. You can stay in the guest room. I never want to see you put this your filth on my couch again. Hmm? Hey! Where are you going to? I'm going to freshen up. I've been here all night. Like I said earlier, you stay in the guest room. But you can't treat me this way because of just one mistake. I've been forgiving you for all the mistakes you've been making in our marriage. Hmm. So... You justify adultery. I'm not justifying adultery. I'm just saying I deserve forgiveness too. Let me tell you something. Hmm? If this were the days of my forefathers, they would have taken you to the town square and stripped you naked and the women would beat this shamelessness out of you. And you're here telling me I deserve... <laughs> You stay in the guest room until I can figure out what to do with you. For food. A truly remorseful woman would be too ashamed to have an appetite. So would you prefer I starve to death, Muna? Of what importance is your life worth to me? I think I would um, eat out of the fridge because I will not eat out of the pots of an adulteress.
My good man. Ha, guy, what's up? See you, eh? eh? You go hide because it face your life, baby. Ha! As you can see, yes. Of course, I was flexing with my personal halo. What are you talking about? Don't be silly. Hmm? What would you like to drink? Or would you rather have some more women? I mean, I know you prefer the latter because you're a very charming guy. You see, my personal halot here. <laughs> She's fire. Hot. Boom! <laughs> She's like no other woman that you've ever tasted before. And I can guarantee that. Huh? I know you're a strong man. So would you like to go one or two rounds? Because my harlot here, she gives it out to strangers for free. Hmm? So knowing that you're my cousin, she would definitely do you good. <laughs> Maybe this couch might be fine for you all here. I don't know. I'm sure she will want to impress you, you know. Guy, mm -hmm. I don't want to stay. I have to go now. You have to go? Yeah. Well, I have something for you. <laughs> ah. My good man, these are for you. Go ahead. You can share them amongst your girlfriends or better still, give it to them. I can't take this. These are what you bought for your woman. My harlot, you mean. And please, Emmanuel, don't make me repeat myself again. Is it that you take this Oh, I burned them. And I would hate to see this go to waste. I mean, so I think you should have them. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on, go ahead. My guy. Hmm? I won't be at home at six in case you want to come back, you know, for that uh, two round talk about. You know now, you know now. <laughs> ha! There shall be no peace for the adulteress. Hmm? <laughs> oh. I thought they say a woman should be patient and be kind. Try to understand him. Give him time and everything will work out. I did it all anyway, but they don't understand it. He doesn't understand it. Everything I did, I did it all for you. But he wasn't good enough for it. He wasn't good enough for it. Pick up, pick up. Don't leave me hanging. I'm only human too. You vowed to love me too. So tell me why, tell me why, tell me what's good in love, tell me what's good, and nothing's ever good in love, nothing good, that will always leave you broken, nothing's ever good in love for you. You're back home late today again, went for another scouting, 
Yes, we were not able to find the suitable site. I must say it now. It was very interesting. Let me go fetch him up, okay? The girl you had lunch with today, who is she? Mona, don't I satisfy you enough? Are there more bedroom skills you need me to learn? What is wrong with you? Baby, I love you. You, you know this. Don't, don't touch me. After all we've been through, Mona, this is how you choose to treat me. No respect, no, no regards, nothing. Baby, I was stupid. And you were kissing and touching her all over the place, in the, in public. How could you do this to me, Muna? How could you? How long has this been going on? How long? For two months. Oh my God. What? Muna, two months. Two months you've been sleeping with another woman for two months, cheating on your wife. How could you? Baby, I know what I did was wrong, and I'm sorry. And I'll do anything to make this right. Just tell me exactly what you I don't care, do. Mona. You cheated on me. Baby, look. You were cheating on me. How could you? Why would you do that to me? Why? Baby, but you still cheated me, huh? Baby, I don't love her. It's you that I love. Please. Don't, don't, don't come close to me. Don't even try it. Baby, How could you? After everything I've done for you, what have I not done for you, Mona? I do everything for you, yet you cheat on me. Who does that to their wife yet to claim you love me? You don't love me. Baby, I'm begging. Tell I don't care. Don't, 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 don't touch me. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Tell me sorry. I'm wrong. Tell I'm sorry, me please. Now. I'm begging. Tell me my fault. Tell me now. Because he wasn't good enough for you. Tell me my fault. Tell me now. Oh, tell me now. Oh, tell me now. Cause he wasn't good enough for you Tell me what's good or lost But nothing's ever good enough That will always leave you broken No matter how hard I try Tell me what's good or lost But nothing's ever good enough That will always leave you broken No matter how hard I try What is that supposed to be? A suicide note? I hope you don't want to kill yourself in my house. When are you gave me this few days ago? You wrote I have faltered a million times. Please forgive me this once. You give me this. What do you expect me to do with this? I faltered just once. Just one time, Mona, and you can't forgive me. I would have forgiven you if you lied to me. If you stole from me. I would have forgiven you if you killed someone in your past life. But you let another man touch you. My wife. You let another man desecrate you. I can never forgive you for that. Never! But nothing's ever good enough That will always leave you broken No matter how hard I try Tell me what's good enough But nothing's ever good enough I don't know what to say to this. I, I thought Janet was one of the very good ones. But unfortunately, she's a whore. Come on, man. Thank her that. She made me the mistake once. And she confessed. If she hadn't, you wouldn't have known. I would have preferred she'd not confess that rubbish to me. And I prefer she hid it from me and I never found out because now 
I cannot think about her without thinking of a man climbing her to do all sorts of rubbish. I mean, come on, I love that girl, man. I know you do, which is why you are punishing her and punishing yourself. She's sorry. You don't understand. I treat her like a queen. I treat her like a queen. I don't even stress her. I don't even ask her for sex. Because I want her to stay in her form of purity. I want her to be beautiful all the time for me. And she took all that and she gave it to someone. A stranger for that matter. See, she go pay you for this thing when she do me. She must pay. See you wait on the fuck up sex. You know, say she never dressed which that way. Calm down, man. Oh. Why she go back? Say I do it. In. <laughs> See, now, man, I be you. If I choose to marry five wives, I will marry five wives and none of them will cheat on me. Do you understand? All the same, man. Just calm down. Oh. Home sweet home. La la la. La. <laughs> ah. I thought it was someone. But it's only my adulteress. Hello, adulteress. How are you today? Hmm? <laughs> Oh, did you think it was one of your clients? I'm sorry, it's me. I'm sorry, I can give you some space. So you can have your men. How many were you expecting? 10, 20, 100. <laughs> I had a good time tonight. It was amazing. <sighs> your phone let me guess so you can call your secret admirer hmm? I told you he's a stranger it was a one-time thing Muna he's a stranger and it was a one-time thing Muna so if it was a one-time thing why then do you need your phone because it's my phone because it's my phone that I bought with my money not yours. Through, 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 through. It's mine. Okay? It's my phone. Can I have my SIM then? Your SIM. You will only have what I give you. Okay? 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 Ah. Uh, I'm going to rest. Alright, my sweetheart. Oh, my adulteress. <laughs> la 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 la. Muna, I will not let you intimidate me because of one mistake. You'll give me my phone and my laptop! Are you speaking to me in that manner? Ah! Are you crazy?
taught they say a woman should be patient and be kind. Try to understand him, give him time, and everything will work out. I did it all out of way, but they don't understand it. He doesn't understand it. Everything I did, I did it all for you. But he wasn't good enough for it. He wasn't good enough for Pick up, pick up, don't leave me hanging. I'm only human too. You vowed to love me too. So tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me what's good or love. Tell me what's good. But nothing's ever good enough. Nothing's good. That will love. always leave you broken. Nothing's ever good but enough I'm for hard. you. I try. No, no, no. Nothing's good, good enough. Ever good enough. But nothing's ever good enough. Love my efforts. That will always leave you broken. No matter how hard I try It takes two to tango, they say Now I understand why they say Love is not enough You can give it all you got But it wouldn't be enough You took my efforts for granted And everything that we work for You threw it all away It wasn't good enough for you Tell me my faults, tell me now Tell me I'm wrong, tell me now Tell me my faults, tell me now Cause it wasn't good enough for you Tell me my faults, tell me now Oh, tell me now Oh, tell me now Cause it wasn't good enough for you Tell me what's good or love But nothing's ever good enough That will always leave you broken No matter how hard I try Tell me what's good or love But nothing's ever good enough That will always leave you broken Are you being serious right now? Mona, why the hell are you taking my costume? Huh? Since when did you start asking me stupid questions? Huh? You mean the cars that I bought with my money? I'm taking them to sell them. Your money? <laughs> I never believed a day like this would come. You know, did I? So what happened to all the months, five good months I spent working in the bank? What happened to the time I spent writing a column for seven months? What happened to all the money I made from there? Okay. Let's see. I feed you. I clothe you. I shelter you. Okay? I pay for your water. I pay for light. I pay for your makeup and your hair. How much do you think this amounts to in three Sorry, in four years' time. I'm your wife, Mona. Your wife. Until you stopped being my wife. I told you. you cheated and I forgave you. Just because I cheated once doesn't give you the audacity to go out there and start sleeping with strangers. Once? Did you just say once, Muna? You are the reason I stopped bringing in house elves into this house. You! You slept with Tolu. Yes? Oh, you think I didn't know about it? I knew everything that happened between both of you. But I chose not to confront you about it. All I did was ask her to leave. What did I do? I took my sheets because that's what women do. They take the sheets from their men. Tolu happened at a very low time of our lives and you know it. Oh really? Is that so? So what about the dirty little affair you're having with your secretary? Are we at a low point in our lives now, Muna? Are we? 
I forgave you, Mona. I forgave you for the saints you confessed to. I forgave you for the ones you denied. I forgave you for all of it. I forgive you because I know we are humans. We could be tempted and we'll fall into temptations and, 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 and repent from it. Anyone including myself, Mona. I am a human being. I am not immune to falling into temptations because I'm a woman. I am human. I can fall into temptations. I, I could have my shortcomings. I could be tempted. I could do anything. But that is not why you need to bury me for it. You don't need to kill me for it, Mona. You don't need to. Let me tell you something. A man sleeps outside. And he has a home to come back to. There is a home waiting for him when he gets back. His wife is his home. A man builds a house. And a woman builds a home. But when a woman sleeps outside, the whole house sleeps outside. And there is nothing to come back to. After we lost Diamond, I was lost. She was my daughter too. But you handled it way better than I did. Do you think it didn't paralyze me as well? She was my only child. Sometimes I felt like killing myself. But you were strong. Stronger than I ever was. I tried to be strong for the both of us. I tried to hide how broken I was. Because my heart was shattered. I tried to fix myself and I took on a very bad habit, a bad habit that today has damaged my marriage. Do you think that can ever make amends. Would you forgive me? I drove you into the arms of a stranger. And it drove me crazy. I was so angry and I had to take it out on someone. Do you think that maybe you can love me again? Would you forgive me? Hey, sweetie. 
Rise and shine. What did you do? Breakfast in bed. Oh, hey. I can't believe you did this. Ah, come on. You know you're my best woman in the whole world. And you're my best man. And guess what? Later today, your cars will be coming back. I thought you sold them. Nah. I just did that to make you hurt. Because I was hurt too. Babe. Come on. Can't blame me. I'm so petty for it. <laughs> Look. Eat your breakfast, okay? I have to get to work. That baby is mine. I thought they say a woman should be patient and be kind. Try to understand him. Give him time and everything will work out. I did Guys, it all. This better be good news. I was in the middle of something when you were. Janet is pregnant. Finally. That is good news. I hope it's not what I am thinking. I have been trying to get her pregnant again for years. Now she meets a random guy and, 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 and he knocks her off. You mean she slept with the guy without a rubber? Listen, unwanted pregnancy is not what both of you should be worried about. It takes two to tango, they say. Now I understand why they say love is not enough. You can give it all you I am pregnant for a man I don't even know his name. Mona will never forgive me for this. He will never. How do I fix my marriage? How? I prayed. I cried. I begged for a child. Why do I have to get one like this? Why? I've come to the end of the road, Butchie. This is the end of the road for me. Hey, what? No, 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 no. Please, get up. Things of long thoughts about our predicaments, and and I caused it. I caused it. I'm the cause 
of the situation that our relationship is in. I should have listened to you. I'm tired of us punishing ourselves and fighting each other. But now I think we can get through this together. We need to get rid of that baby and wait for our own. Okay? You, you, want, you want me to get rid of the baby? Sweetheart, that's the only logical thing to do. We don't know who the father of that child is and we cannot raise another man's child. I mean, I think this is a sign that our own child is coming soon, okay? Let's go to bed. so early. I can't do it. I can't kill my own child. You're just confused. I'm not confused. You must be out of your mind to think that I will raise another man's bastard child under my roof. People train and adopt children that are not theirs all the time. But this is not an adoption. This is a constant reminder of my wife's infidelity. Something I've been trying to do for years and some other person comes and he does it. How do you think that makes me feel? I understand this is difficult for you, Mona. I totally understand. But asking a mother to kill her own child? It's not even a child yet. It's still a fetus. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't do it. I thought about it all night. I, I can't. I can't kill my own child. Look. I know that you're desperate to have a child. I am also desperate too. And I'm sure that at the right time, our child will come. But this thing you have growing inside you has to go. I can't, I can't do it. Well, I guess you have a choice to make. You either keep the baby or you keep your marriage. Janet. Emmanuel, thanks for seeing me. You know I always love seeing you. But I must confess, you don't look good. I'm going through it 
tough time. Why did you do it? I don't know. No. There is always a reason behind every action. You like mystery guy? What? Um, why are you refusing to abort his child? Mona told you? <laughs> yes. Mona tells me everything. You see, um, Janet, I know you are not the type of a woman to evolve in a careless sex. You must have found him very really attractive. I am only attracted to my husband. Deny it all you want, but I will insist on my opinion. I want my marriage. But you also want the child. You are the only person he listens to. Oh. You want me to advise him to keep another man's child? But no one needs to know. Except he knows. And he will live with it for the rest of his life. Janet, can you try and put yourself in his shoe for a second? I can't kill my child. I can't. I hope you do know how stubborn your husband can be. Have you made your decision? Have you made your decision? I understand. I respect that you have made your decision. And I hope you also respect mine. I want a divorce. I cannot live with you anymore. So I want you to pack up all your things and leave my house tomorrow morning. And you'll be hearing from my lawyers.
the bedroom for you. You don't find it comfortable there. Onachi, we, we have been through darkness and light together. We've been through lack and abundance. We've been there for each other. We've supported each other. Well, all good things must come to an end. Why does this have to be the end, Muna? Why? You made your decision. I give you a choice. A choice that could ruin me? How so? What if I never get pregnant again? Oh, I see. You plan to render me childless? No. This is our child. It's our baby. No. This is your child. Not mine. I have had women over the years, and I have never, never had sex with them unprotected. But you slept with a stranger without protection, and they drink me, yourself, and this family. Now you want to push a bastard child to me? I left that bedroom for you so that you could be comfortable and spend your last night in our matrimonial bed. I thought they say a woman should be patient and be kind, try to understand him, give him time and everything will work out. I did it all anyway, but they don't understand it. He doesn't understand it. Everything I did, I did it all for you. But it wasn't good enough for it. It wasn't good enough for Pick up, pick up. Don't leave me hanging. I'm only human too. You vowed to love me too. So tell me why, tell me why, tell me what's good in love, tell me what's good, but nothing's ever good in love, nothing good, that will love. always leave you broken, nothing's ever good in love no for you, I no, 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 nothing's, nothing's ever love. good in love, but nothing's ever good in love, all my efforts, that will always leave you broken, no matter how. I try. It takes two to tango, they say. Now I understand why they say love is not enough. You can give it all you got, but it wouldn't be enough. You took my efforts for granted. And everything that we work for, you threw it all away. It wasn't good enough for you. Tell me my faults, tell me now Tell me I'm wrong, tell me now Tell me my faults, tell me now Cause it wasn't good enough for you Tell me my faults, tell me now Oh, tell me now Oh, tell me now Cause it wasn't good enough for you Tell me what's good in love, but nothing's ever good in love. That will always leave you broken, no matter how hard I try. Tell me what's good in love, but nothing's ever good in love. That will always leave you broken, no matter how hard I try.
They say a woman should be patient and be kind. Try to understand him. Give him time and everything will work out. I did it all that way, but they don't understand it. He doesn't understand it. Everything I did, I did it all for you. But it wasn't good enough for him. It wasn't good enough for him. Pick up, pick up, don't leave me high. 